Hey guys, Kel here, and I'm bringing you my very first review for uh, Dragon Ball Super. This one focusing on episode 77. I know, um, I'm extremely late to the party. Um, I, I'm, I'm doing this as kind of a test. I don't know if I'm going to do this all day, do all this all the time, but I uh, figured I may as well start off with this episode because there is something worth noting in this episode that I'm not sure would, like I'm sure would would still... Wouldn't, 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 wouldn't fly over too many people's heads, but I feel it's worth mentioning, which is the animation in this episode. Now, for the most part, the animation um, on on Dragon Ball Super, ever since the first 27 episodes, yeah, we, we, we definitely know th those were the dark times of Dragon Ball Super, but uh, the one thing to note about this particular episode is that it almost seems like um, they've taken... With this particular episode, it seems like they've taken the old style and the new style and kind of me mesh meshed them together now in order to get a rather uh, a rather interesting style. Like it's it looks like this the, the animation and art style in this particular episode, or and I don't know if it's going to happen throughout the entirety of it. It was like a nice mesh of both the the old and new style. And hey, I I welcome it because honestly, this this is actually pretty nice. This is actually a, a pretty good art, pretty looking piece of animation and art style, honestly. Animation and art for for a while, I'd say. I mean, not to say the other stuff was bad, but this is this is a this is a very unique unique style. It's it's kind of old and old and new combined. It's like they they found their muse finally. Why it didn't take why it took them so long to realize to do this way, I don't know. But hey, I, I welcome it. Um. Now the first thing to note about this episode is the is Goku's confrontation with 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 those with those robbers. Now, people are saying he's 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 being nerfed again. The and yeah, I'd be lying if I said I didn't see as to as to how that happened. But I think in a way I can under I think I can kind of understand the message that they're trying to get across, which is that. In times of peace, you you, you can actually get a, a lot weaker, but uh, the the only problem with that is is that later on in the episode when when we see him is that later on in the episode when we see him when we see when we see I think it's Goku who's training with Whis when when we see him later on in the episode, um, it does seem like he's he's able he's able to deflect Whis and. In, in regular base, in his base Super Saiyan form. No, not Super Saiyan Blue, just regular base Super Saiyan. Now, there, there's kind of, it's like a kind of a, mis a misrepresentation almost, but I, I don't know. It's it's kind of a weird, weird thing already, and it, it's kind of weird, I suppose. I mean, I, I don't know what it, what it could be, honestly. Like, I... I believe the intent, like I said, I believe the intent was to say that that they're getting you do get soft in times of peace, but we've it seems like he's being I don't know it it seems like that they were intentionally nerfing him in order to in order to give him an excuse in order to prepare for the tournament. I think that that's that's my I guess that uh, that, that right now that's, that's my current theory about the whole thing. But who who knows for sure? Um, aside from that. Uh, we we get a we get an interesting we get, a, get an interesting look into into Weiss's psyche in this one. Um, into Weiss's uh, into Weiss's or no not Weiss sorry uh, into into Beerus's into Beerus's characterization specifically on on what he thinks about the Omni King like honest like for 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 someone like Beerus a god of god of destruction to actually fear. The Omni King, when 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 of course Goku was was going out, was going out of his way in order to try and get the universe survival tournament going or something like that, it shows how much he doesn't. Even though he works for him, like we we've we've basically come to the conclusion at this point that God of the whole God of Destruction thing, it isn't like, it isn't it's a title, but it's kind of like also a job in a way. So. It's kind of like an employee, not really, not not really tr trusting his employer in a way. So, yeah, we 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 see that 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 Beerus has just has a sort of a mentality of he he fears the Omni King because he he appears so innocent and kind, but at the drop of a hat he can do nearly any anything he wished. He could destroy, <clears throat> he 
he could destroy all twelve of the universes if he wanted to, if he was, if he was bored, I think. And yeah, honestly, after seeing after seeing the the two Omni Kings again, especially playing that whole like uh, I guess planet chess or whatever you want to say it, like I, I I can see where Beerus is coming from too because we we have we have them playing when we see the Omni Kings again, we see them playing like I guess it's like a planetary chess. Like a planet chess game or something like that, and we see the it, the the planets they're used placing. I don't know if they're actually planets or not, but we see that the planets they're using are being are being systematically destroyed. So that means that the Omni King has such a naive added, such a naive personality in it, uh, uh, such a has such just a, a carefree and nonchalant, almost childlike personality that he doesn't he doesn't care at all. But he doesn't care at all about what uh, he doesn't care at all about the safety or the security of others as long as it's entertaining for him so yeah yeah i can i can definitely understand wh where where beers is coming from when, when he says that go go that the goku needs to be careful when dealing with yamna king of course we <clears throat> of course for the story of progression's sake that of course that didn't really stop Really stop Goku from actually going to the Omni King and say, "Hey, let's let's start off the tournament." And like next episode, if if the preview is any indication, I feel that Goku is is really gonna like start is gonna re really regret what 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 he just did because that's the one thing I think Go Goku just doesn't realize is that he lets his, his naivete and his love for fighting get in the way of of rational <clears throat> of rational and common sense and. He Beerus tried to like I said Beerus tried to warn him, but look what look what happened. He 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 ended up convincing the Omni King to in fact start the whole tournament. But yeah, we it's it's like it's like I understand Goku's need to to get stronger, but he's going to unbelievable and surmountable lengths in order to make it happen. But who like who 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 really knows what. what who really knows, honestly? Um, who really knows, honestly, what goes through Goku's mind? Personally, I just <laughs> I've come to a conclusion that he's willing to do anything in order to get in order to keep getting stronger. Sometimes that he just goes too far. I think, yeah. Um, the and uh, and of course when then and and also uh, I want to talk about Vegeta here for a second. I gotta give Vegeta major props to his. We get a major props to, to Vegeta's development in this episode. Like he was just in his <clears throat> in in Goku's attempts in order to make sure that in order Goku's attempts to, to to get stronger, he invited Vegeta along in order to train with Whis. But Vegeta said, "No, my, my my wife's pregnant. I have to I have to stay here." And even though it was. And even though it was in a way un, un, under threat from, even though in a way it was under threat from Bulma, that in a way also, it just shows how much Vegeta actually cares for for, for for his family. Like, it was probably eating it up, eating him up inside in order to stay while old Goku went to go train. But you can see that in many respects, he's there are times where he seems to be almost fighting his 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 his, his sand urges, almost in order to. In order to think of what's, in order to think of, of what's going on, what what what's the best friend thing for him to do now, and uh, and Vegeta's, and of course, and Bulma being pregnant now, this has been the topic of discussion for a long time. But I wonder who, wonder what, what Bulma's um, I wonder if Bulma says she doesn't want to know the gender, but I wonder if it's still going to be Bra or or Bulma or or. Or, or whatever translation you want to go by. I wonder if it's going to be still be here. I imagine so. Like I don't think they'd, I don't think that they'd stray too too far off because even though even though GT technically is in canon at this point, we 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 do know that that that, that Toriyama probably still designed Bra or Bulla. So I I think Bulla, Bulla technically still is canon. So there's definitely that too. But um, yeah, guys, that's my uh. That's 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 my review for for Dragon Ball Super episode seventy seven. A, a, a good, like the thing of the thing definitely about this episode is is it was it was just a, a setup episode for, for setting up the for, for, for setting up the tournament. Uh, I wonder, <clears throat> I wonder if 
I want. I don't think. If I had to guess, I'd say I think we're gonna each be getting kind of like a couple of sort of introductory arcs in a way to to each of the ten ten fighters who are gonna be participating in Universe Seven. Like I think we're gonna get one for for uh, for, for 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 Krillin and for Krillin and eighteen. We're gonna get. One for Android 17, we're going to get one for Master Roshi, we're going to get one for Tien and Chiaotzu. We're, we're probably just going to get a whole bunch of, <clears throat> like, probably ten, probably ten, like, in introductory arcs at this, ten introductory, ten introductory episodes past this point, nine or ten introductory episodes past this point, but, uh, yeah, but, yeah, and, uh, and yeah, this again. This one, this episode was just sort of a, a setup episode. But for what for a setup episode, it was it was pretty entertaining, honestly. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, guys, that's that's my review of uh, Dragon Ball Super episode seventy seven. Uh, uh, again, a, a good episode. It did it's some good setup things. It wasn't a perfect episode, but for, for what it was, it was it was pretty entertaining. But uh, yeah, guys, if you want more, follow me on. Follow me on Twitter or Facebook, or like, comment, subscribe. See ya.